It just seems that, you know, Disney and Marvel at the moment can't catch a fucking break. Let's be honest, ever since, in, in, uh, not Infinity War, Endgame happened, Marvel's just been on a fucking decline. It, it really fucking has. And this news coming out has just, you know, put in Marvel I into, like, more of a fucking decline than it already was. And we're not just going to talk about, you know, this being a detriment for Marvel, but also, you know, to go a little bit into this this case itself. Not not too much, just on the surface a little bit. I'm not going to try and go into too much details and, you know, sit here like I, I'm, I'm some kind of lawyer and think I really know what I'm talking about when I have no fucking, you know, no real idea, let's be honest. But Jonathan Majors, he has been found guilty um, in two parts of where is it? The I took a fucking screenshot of it and I forgot. So he has been accused in two parts of assault: one, uh, um, assault in the third degree, and harassment in the second degree. And after this, um, all happened literally fucking minutes after it happened. Disney and Marvel came out with a statement saying that they are automatically sacking him as the role of Kang the Conqueror. So he was meant to be basically the. If you don't know too much about you know Marvel like comics and you just know, you know, the MCU. Kang the Conqueror is just as a big of a villain as as Thanos is. Literally in, in the comics, Kang the Conqueror is probably or maybe like don't don't quote me on this and don't be in the comments like, you know, you're, you're like is some kind of, you know, comic nerd and say, look, oh actually this guy's more powerful than this guy. But like in terms of like power scaling, they're on similar similar groundings, you know. Like Thanos is is just uh absolute powerful being and obviously the infinity stones make him even more powerful kang the conqueror is a fucking extremely powerful being with him himself as well and he doesn't have the infinity stones but his whole thing is his like his battle armor it grants him fucking time travel and telekinesis like those two things right there automatically make him make him like extremely fucking powerful and then you know he's got all that genius intellect and all that kind of other shit as well so you know he was meant to be the next big bad guy coming up in this next phase of Marvel, you know, the, the next movie, for, like the next Avengers movie is Avengers Kang Dynasty. So obviously, you know, he was going to be the main part that was going into this as well. And in Secret Wars is after that. Who knows? He probably would have been a big part of Secret Wars as well. But unfortunately with this, obviously his career now, not just with Marvel, but unfortunately I feel like his career in general is coming to a, a, an end really, or at least on halt for a long time now, because, you know, with, with a company like, you know, Marvel sacking you like that, and, you know, you're losing a, a big role like you just have, it is extremely detrimental you, to you, to your career. And when I first found out about, about this, these charges, like about him being guilty, I didn't really know, but this has been going on since March. I, di I didn't know that. I didn't really pay attention to too much about like the MCU and like, I hadn't popped up on my Twitter at all. Like, you know, and I haven't really seen anything, you know, this this whole time i might have known about it earlier this year but i didn't really pay too much attention to it so it was only today but when i saw it I, at first i thought it was pretty cut and dry i thought it, it you know reports you know and a lot of these tabloids that are coming out are just straight away saying that you know he assaulted his girlfriend and he's being charged with assault and harassment um for his not girlfriend sorry his ex he's now ex-girlfriend who I, i'm pretty sure he also has a child with as well and at first I was just like, ah, oh, that seems pretty cut and dry. But then I started to like, you know, go into looking into it a little bit more myself and then also see what other people had to see, say on Twitter. Now when I, and not just Twitter, but also like YouTube videos as well, because I was watching like, you know, CBS news about this, to, to, you know, just to get a little bit more background and information about like exactly what he had been charged for and how long it had been going for. And a lot of people are saying that you know they feel like he was wrongfully like accused and that he should have been found not guilty on all four parts that he was charged for so this happened originally in march and the the altercation happened where him and his girlfriend got into a bit of a dispute she tried to grab his phone uh his phone off him because apparently she had seen some texts some text messages from another girl and, you know, they were, you know, going going about and going back and forth. And I'm going to show a, a CCTV footage because it had a, there's a CCTV footage which has actually been released to the public as well, which is why a lot of people are saying that, you know, this has got two sides to the story about it. You know, similar like a Johnny Depp, Amber Heard kind of situation. Yeah. And he shoves her 
and like shoves her back into the car and then he runs away and she proceeds to chase after him <laughs> fucking legging it she he's like trying to get the fuck away from this situation after he shoves her and she just legs it and apparently from like what i've like you know seen and what people said apparently she had like broken her finger or fractured or dislocated her finger in some way i mean when i had a closer look at the cctv cctv footage i couldn't really see so let's have a look through it there's no sound so i'm going to talk over it just so you know we can go through it together um it, it is going to have the tmz logo over over the top of it because you know tmz fucking the uh, own and break everything around here so not the car on the right but the black car on the left um the bigger one is, is their car so uh, as you can see that's them two there and it, that's him on the outside and he's like shoving her back into the car trying to get away from i i, I don't know like it it and then you know he's trying to get away from her and she's like holding on to him and then he shoves her and he just fucking legs it out of there so you know i mean she does whack her head on there and he's just, you know, sh really shoving her into the car. And, like, it, does, it, it definitely needs more context because it seems like she's really trying to hold on to him to try and get him. And he's just trying to, like, shove her to maybe, like, get away from her. He probably did it, obviously, maybe a little bit too aggressive. I mean, when you are a man, you are a lot stronger than another woman. And he's like, she's just fucking going after him. She's fucking chasing after him. Like, this, this is down several fucking blocks. They're still going. She, she ain't fucking... He's, he's like, oh, get away from this bitch. And he's still fucking... She's going, man. Look at her run. Look at her. She give a fuck about these cars either. Just runs in front of the fucking car. He's legging it. She's fucking going after him. I don't know how many blocks is this. I don't know what they're... They would have had a driver, obviously. I don't know where he's at. And as you can see, he just legs it around the corner here. And I think this is where, like, yeah, she comes and, like, then some other people show up as well. And she doesn't seem to be injured in, in any in any way, like, possible, to, to be honest. So, obviously, you know, some guys come out of, of this building and she just starts talking to them. It looks like she's trying to, like, you know, de-escalate the situation, trying to make it out like it's not that bad. And maybe she's just asking to see if, like, you know, they had seen Jonathan, like, run by at all. And then he does come back around the corner here. You know, he probably obviously noted that she stopped following him. And he's just probably just like, get the fuck away from me. be really good if like cct footage just had fucking audio bro uh, like don't you want to know what the fuck they're saying like i def i 100 percent want to know so like he did push her relatively aggressively i will give i will give her that and then there was also text messages that were released by her as well like not not released by her sorry but there was text messages that were released that were sent from her so from major's ex-girlfriend to him and they said they said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had had a fight i'm so angry that they did that that they did and i'm sorry you're in this position we'll make sure nothing happens about this i told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone i only just got out of hospital and then another message said i reiterated how this was not an attack and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed i read the paper they gave me about the strangul strangulation and I said point blank this did not occur and should be removed immediately so this is like the whole point of like I'm really confused of like you know why he was then you know found guilty in in these charges so like I said earlier in the video as well and I'll put it up on the screen now is that so he was um he went to court so the in the initial trial began on november 29th so it was a very relatively like you know short trial trials can go on for months fucking months sometimes they go on for so long and he was uh, originally pleaded not guilty for assault in the third degree and 
and not guilty for aggravated harassment in the second degree. But then he was found guilty just today or yesterday, sorry, when this video was going up, found guilty in assault in the third degree and harassment in the second degree. And it, th this is, so assault in the third degree means that reckless infliction of fear of serious bodily injury or recklessly causing a fear of injury through the use of a deadly weapon. And then apparently the harassment is like a, a charge as a, as of like a violation or some shit. I searched up here a harassment in the second degree. It says harassment in the second degree means a pattern of intentional, substantial, or unreasonable intrusion into the private life of a targeted person that serves no legitimate purposes and cause a person and would cause a reasonable person in his position to suffer mental or emotional distress. So like, it's really confusing to me ab about this because apparently he's, you know, she's coming out. She's said in text messages that these charges should be dropped and it was just a little, you know, it was more of a disagreement between us two. In the video, it kind of looked like she was holding on to him and he was just trying to get off of her and she's fucking like chasing him down the street when he's just trying to get on off of her. So to me, this this honestly seems like a whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation. This, this, this is what it seems like to me. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know. Uh, and it is what it is. That's honestly what it see. It doesn't seem like we have the whole entire story. There's also people that are, you know, backing him as well and saying that he's actually, you know, a really good person. It seemed that, you know, his current girlfriend. So like, you know, he's currently um, in a relationship with Megan Good. He's been in a relationship with her since May 2023. So this was even after all, all this stuff happened. And she's been by his side um, this entire time as well. So to me, this just... It doesn't, it doesn't add up. It, it really, really doesn't. To me, there just seems like there is more to this case than we are originally being led on from. Um, it does not surprise me that he's been dropped from Marvel. I mean, you know, whenever anyone, you know, well, I, I mean, whenever any man themselves is being accused of any type of assault or harassment, they are instantly fucking dropped. But I will say this, I, I will say this one thing. How... How in God's fucking name, how, please explain, that Jonathan Majors loses his job, but Ezra fucking Miller, how is Ezra Miller still fucking working? That man is a menace to fucking society, and I do not say that lightly, I do not put that in a fucking joke in any way fucking possible. How was that man allowed to be in two fucking movies this year? Those movies should have been fucking scrapped. And he should not have been allowed to do fucking anything. This man should be put behind fucking bars. He has been accused of disorderly contact, choking. He had that full, full Hawaii fucking incident. Um, harassment allegations. He had a Vermont farm incident and a burglary charge. What in the fuck, bro? That man should be fucking locked up. We should be talking about that dickhead more. You barely see any fucking shit about that man and the surprising that he wasn't dropped straight away from the fucking dcu and they just didn't release the fucking flash because god fucking damn jesus christ man that man should not be walking this earth uh, uh, honestly uh, that, that's not behind bars uh, god man. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation are you like me are you like you know bit you're not really sure what's like you know going on like you know do you feel like we're not given the whole story i i definitely feel like we we aren't you know to me like i said i feel like this is a johnny johnny depp amber heard situation that's honestly how i feel where it's just we're not fully given both sides of the story but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments that's it for me peace out